B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B, that's just so much fun, it's just education, for you and everyone, so come along, learn some grammar, learn a phrase, learn something new every day, learn the A plus the way. Hi everyone and welcome to A Plus English. I'm Erin. And I'm Elsie. Elsie, when was the last time you went to the bank? Hmm, let me see. I went to the bank three days ago. Okay, well what did you have to do there? I had to open up a new bank account. Hmm, now, was it a good experience, or did you have to wait in a long line, or did you forget a paper that you needed, or was everything good? Usually, I have to wait in a long line, but mm-hmm. that time, it was okay. okay. I waited for about half an hour. Well, that's still quite a long time, actually. Pretty good already. <laughs> <laughs> so, when was the last time you went to the bank? Well, I went to the bank last week, actually. Was it Okay. Yes, actually, this time it was. Like you, usually I have to wait a really long time, especially because I don't speak enough Chinese to really make myself understood at the bank. So when you so. went into the bank, mm-hmm. did anybody show up and help you? Yes, okay. I did. I did wait in line for a little bit, and the person who helped me this time spoke a little bit of English, so it was okay for me. But sometimes I have to wait almost an hour. I know, mm-hmm. an hour. It's a really long time. All right, well, here is something in a today's article that could make your trip to the bank a little bit easier. Cool. All right, let's get to our picture dictionary article right now. A trip to the bank. Welcome to Picture Dictionary. Today, we're going to introduce some words you can see in a bank. That sounds really interesting. It sure does. Don't you just love learning English words? Right now, please pay attention and read the words and sentences as loudly as you can. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's get started and have fun. Teller, transaction, savings, withdraw, Safety deposit box, safe deposit box, ATM, deposit, balance, bank book, passbook, ID, credit card, debit card, bank account. Hey mom, a great new video game came out yesterday. Can you buy it for me? I think you have enough money to buy it yourself. You can use the savings in your bank account. Oh, right. I saved up my red envelopes. But how can I take the money out? Well, I have to go to the bank today. I'm going to get something from our safe deposit box. Does that mean I can go with you? I want to withdraw some money. Yes, you can. Don't forget to bring your passbook. Buy, 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 bought, bought. Jordan went to the supermarket to buy some milk, bread, and apples. Jordan went to the supermarket to buy some milk, bread, and apples. Money, money. I can't go to a restaurant for lunch because I don't have any money. I can't go to a restaurant for lunch because I don't have any money. Use, use. I took a cold shower yesterday because my brother used all the hot water. 
I took a cold shower yesterday because my brother used all the hot water. Bring, 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 brought, brought. Bring your umbrella today. It might rain later. Bring your umbrella today. It might rain later. All right. Our article today is a conversation between a boy and his mom, and it says here Danny is the boy. He starts talking. He says, "Hey, mom, a great new video game came out yesterday." 这边呢，我们看到儿子直接跟妈妈说：“哎，妈妈，有一个新的电动游戏昨天发行了。那发行这个动词片语，我们要用什么呢？我们要用到的是 come out。那在他讲的句子当中呢，因为是昨天，所以用到了过去式 came out。” So here, I guess he means that he wants to have it.、Mm-hmm. He wants to have the game, right? Right. 那这边呢，我们还讲到了刚刚说过的 come came 这样子过去式的不规则变化。那我们就先进到了 Magic Box 听讲师讲解喽。Magic Box 找亮点。这边呢有个消息要告诉大家啦，在 Thanos 戴上无限手套，一个弹指将宇宙的生物毁灭一半后，我和其他存活的 Avengers 终于终于找到 Thanos， 并将他给击败了。We found him and we defeated him。谁晓得啊，他之后还会做什么事情？有他的日子就是一刻都不得安宁啊！我一定要在这边跟大家分享一下那天的状况。不过呢，在这之前，哎，有没有发现我刚刚讲了一句 ，We found him and we defeated him。这句话的意思呢，就是说，哎，我们找到他，并且击败他了。其中你可以看到，我剧中用了两种动词的过去式的变化，规则变化和不规则变化。一般来说呢，如果啊在动词的字尾加上 ed 成为过去式，这个呢就是一种规则的变化。剧中的 defeated 就是 defeat 的过去式，后面呢直接加上 ed。还有呢，像是 helped 帮助 killed 杀。那另外一种呢，就是不规则的变化呢，像是 found 这样，它其实呢就是 find 的过去式，找到。它的变化呢，跟原本的那个动词是完全不一样的哦。那再举个例子好了啊，美国队长那天啊，就狠狠地打 Thanos 脸一拳。Captain America hit Thanos in the face. Captain America hit Thanos in the face. 哎，你可能想说，哎 ，hit。打这个字怎么还是没有变啊？哎，要注意喽 ，hit 的现在是和过去式都是一样的，这也是一种不规则的变化喽。类似的状况啊，还有切这个动作，它的过去式也是一样，是 cut cut。哎 ，Thanos 就是不肯放弃耶，他还跟我们打斗。Thanos fought against us. Thanos fought against us. 哎，没有错，有没有发现这边又用一个不规则的变化 ，fought， 也就是 fight 的过去式，打斗的意思啦。哎，那大家知道我们是怎么样找到 Thanos 的吗 ？Nebula took us to Thanos. Nebula took us to Thanos. 是涅布拉，是他带我们去找他的。你们可以看到。带这个动作呢的过去式就是 took， 就是由 take 演变而来的哦。哎，那击败 Thanos 之后啊，我们都超级开心。We were very happy。是的，另外呢，也要补充 be 动词的过去式给大家喽。像刚刚用的 were 就是 are 的过去式，那像 is 或 am 的过去式则是 was。For example， I was in the fight。I was in the fight. 我呢，当然呢，也在那场战争里头啦。复仇者联盟们一定要并肩作战的、啊。一样还有 do does 过去式呢，都是 did. We did it. We did it. 我们真的做到了。保护人民以及这个国家，就是我们的使命啦。当然，你们的使命就是把这些不规则的变化好好的学起来啦。All right. So he is. 
kind of leading into the question here, right? He said this great new video game came out, and that sort of means he just wants to have it, right? Which is why he asks, "Can you buy it for me?" Now, what he's saying here, he's using the word "buy," which is a verb, and it's spelled B-U-Y. Buy. What he's saying here is that he wants his mom to use money to pay someone to have that thing. All right. So when you buy something, you pay someone money to keep that thing. Now we usually do this at shops like a real store that you can go into, or an online shop on the internet. Now, once you know what you want, you can use. Use cash, that's coins or bills, or you can use a credit card to take it home or have it sent to your house. As an example sentence, we could say, "Jordan went to the supermarket to buy some milk, bread, and apples." Jordan went to the supermarket to buy some milk, bread, and apples. Buy 这个动词呢，它是买的意思。那三态变化是 buy, bought, bought。那它的过去式跟过去分词比较难拼一点，要注意是 b o u g h t。那我们的例句提到了 Jordan went to Jordan 到了超市买了一些牛奶、面包和苹果。那如果我们要特别说它是买给谁的，我们可以在后面加 for， 再加上那个人。比如说 Jordan went to the supermarket to buy some milk, bread, and apples for Aaron。嗯，那当然，我们可以换句话说，说成 Jordan went to the supermarket to buy Aaron some milk, bread, and apples. Thank you, Jordan. <笑>那回到我们的对话呢 ，Danny 就说了，妈妈，那你可以买给我吗 ？Can you buy it for me? Hmm. I think I've probably asked my mom that question sometimes. All right. Well, Debbie, who is his mom, she responds. She says, "I think you have enough money to." Buy Buy it yourself. All right. So when you want to buy something, of course, you need to use money, and that is our second word power word today. Money is a noun. It's spelled M O N E Y. Money, and it's what you need to buy something. So here's what happens when you work at a job. The boss will reward you for the work that you do with money. They will pay you money. Now you can use that money. To buy things in your life, now money can come in different forms, such as coins and bills, or it can be electronic money. Now, electronic money is money that you have in your account, so you can see the numbers on a piece of paper or on the computer, but you don't actually see the money. But you can move it around to pay for different things without even seeing it. Here's an example. I can't go to a restaurant for lunch because I don't have any money. I can't go to a restaurant for lunch because I don't have any money. Money 就是钱啦，不过要特别注意哦，它是一个不可数的名词，所以你不会在前面看到 a 或是在字尾看到 s。那我们的例句说啊，我不能去餐厅吃午餐，因为我没有钱。那这边呢，妈妈 Debbie 说。Hey, 我认为呢，你有足够的钱可以自己买。So the mom here wants her son to buy the video game by himself. That's right. So she says you have enough money. Now, when young kids have money, this is usually money that's given to them by their family, right? Yes. Um, in Canada, we would call that an allowance, and you might get that once a month or maybe once a week, depending on your parents. But in Taiwan, I don't know if you guys really give an allowance. Maybe yeah, we. Mm-hmm. Yeah, parents give children allowance. Okay. 零用钱 Maybe when I was little, I got um ten dollars. Per day. Oh, okay. So yeah, you have to was, save yeah, it up. Like ten years old. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, mine was pretty similar. We maybe got like maybe twenty dollars a month or something like、mm-hmm. that, which would have been a little less than a dollar a day. All right. Well, it's she said. She continues to talk here. She says you can use the savings in your bank account. Now, when you use something, let's talk about this word. It's a verb. It's spelled U S E. Use. When you use something, you take an amount from a bigger supply of something 
to do something else with it. So what we're saying here is that you have maybe a large number or a large amount of money in your account, and you can take a smaller amount of that money out of the account and do something with that money. So buy a video game, maybe. So that's what we mean by use here: to take a smaller amount from a bigger amount of something and use it to do something. As an example, we could say, "I took a cold shower yesterday because my brother used all the hot water." One more time, I took a cold shower yesterday because my brother used all the hot water. Use 这个动词呢，它是使用的意思。那在例句中呢，特别注意哦，它用的是过去式，词尾加个 d 就可以了。那例句说的是啊，我昨天冲了。冷水澡，因为我哥哥把所有的热水都用光了。OK， 那如果我们要形容东西是有用的，我们可以在 use 后面加上 ful 变成 useful。For example， Aaron， the、mm-hmm. smartphone you gave me is really useful。Great， thank you so much for that。Very welcome。那如果今天是没有用的呢？那我们就在 use 后面加上 less 变成 useless。那接下来呢，我们在句子当中还看到了 savings， 它指的是积蓄、存款。那另外一个就是 bank account， 它是银行账户。那现在我们有很多种不同的账户，比如说 email account。Email 账户还有 Google account、Google 账户都可以用到 account 的这个字。那这边儿子说完，妈妈说什么呢？妈妈说啊，你可以用你放在银行的存款呢、啊。You can use the money in your bank account. Hmm. And of course, Danny remembers. He says, "Oh, right. That's something we say when we remember something." I saved up my red envelopes. Save up， 它是积存或是存钱的意思。那 Danny 用的是过去式，在字尾加个 d 变成 saved。那再来我们看到的 red envelopes， 我们很熟悉是红包。So I was like Danny too、mm-hmm. when I was a child. I saved up my red envelopes. That's very smart of you, Elsie. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. 然后 Danny 就说，哦、oh, ，对对对，我都把红包钱存起来。But it seems he has a question here. That's right. Before we get to that question, I just want to make A note that we can say envelopes two different ways, and both are okay. Some people say envelopes, and some people say envelopes. All right, now let's find out what Danny's question is. He asks, "But how can I take the money out?" Oh, so this here Danny 不知道要怎么样把钱拿出来 He doesn't know how to take the money out from his bank account. That's right. So it's in there, and he has it, but he doesn't know how to. Take it out and actually use it. But Debbie, his mom, is here to help. She says, "Well, I have to go to the bank today. I'm going to get something from our safe deposit box." 那妈妈 Debbie 就说了，哎，刚好我今天要去银行，我要去拿东西，从哪里拿呢？妈妈讲到了 safe deposit box， 也就是保管箱、保险箱。那我们也可以说 safety deposit box。Mm-hmm. That's right. We can use both forms. All right. So, Debbie is going to the bank. She has to do something there. So Danny says, "Does that mean I can go with you?" 你的意思是我可以跟你一起去吗 ？All right. Well, of course. I'm sure that he, I'm sure that he can, but he's not quite finished speaking yet. He says, "I want to withdraw some money." Withdraw 这个字，它就是领取的意思。所以 Danny 接着说，我想要领一些钱。I want to withdraw some money. All right. So withdraw, I guess, basically just means take out, right? right. 领取。Okay. Hmm. All right. So Debbie responds to her son. She says, "Yes, you can. Don't forget to bring your passbook." Now, what you do? What do you do when you bring? This is our fourth word power word today. It's spelled B R I N G. Bring, and when you bring something, you take that thing with you to a place where you are going. Now, we usually use the this word bring to talk about things that you took to a place when you already there. So, if you're at school, you could say, "Oh, I brought my homework to school today." You're already there, so. You have brought it, or this this is something that you've already done. 
Now, if you're talking about things that you want to take with you in the future, we usually use the word "take." So, if you're at home and you're going to school, your mom might say, "Don't forget to take your homework to school." We might use that word there. Here's an example: Bring your umbrella today. It might rain later. Bring your umbrella today. It might rain later. Bring 这个动词呢，它就是携带的意思。那我们的例句说啊，带上你的雨伞。今晚呢可能会下雨。那在这个 Debbie 的句子当中呢，他还交代了他的儿子说啊 ，Don't forget to bring your passbook. 什么是 passbook？ 它就是 bank book， 也就是存款簿。所以妈妈说是的，你可以跟我一起去，但是不要忘记带你的存款簿了。So it means that Danny. Will need his passbook or、mm-hmm. bank book to get his money out. That's right. So he doesn't have really a card or anything that he can use at an ATM. So to show that he does have an account, he needs to bring this passbook or bank book with、yes. him. Yes. And that way, the person at the bank will see it and they will help him take the money out. It has his account number on it, so they know it's really his. Right. That's right. All right. Well. Danny and Debbie are going to be going to the bank a bit later, but that's not going to happen in today's article because we're all finished for today. So, before we say goodbye, we're going to finish up with today's review time. Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽。All right, Elsie. It's time to play a game. I love games. All right. Well, I'm gonna make you answer some questions. Actually, I'm gonna make you answer. Yeah, I'm gonna make you answer some questions、okay. today in this game.、Mm-hmm. You maybe can do some for me too if you want. All right. So our word power words today were buy, the verb, my,、mm-hmm. money, 钱 mm-hmm. use, 又是个动词使用 mm-hmm. and Bring 还是个动词，携带。All right, so here's how this game works. I have、uh, one of these words in my mind. Yeah, I'm thinking about one of them, and you have to guess which one it is by asking questions. But you have to try to do it in five questions or less. Five questions, okay.、Mm-hmm. All right, I am. So go- is it a yes no question? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'm thinking of a word. Is it a noun? No. So it's a 动词 Okay, I used one question already.、Mm-hmm. Does the word mean you pay money to get something? No. So it's not my.、Mm, that's two questions. Okay. Does the word mean you take something to some?、Uh, you take something somewhere? No. So it should not be buy. So those were three questions,、mm-hmm. and I think the word you are thinking about is use. That's right. You, you, you do remember all your definitions. That's a good strategy for figuring out the word. Okay, now you think of a word. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. All right.、Um, is this word something you need? When you go to a shop, 去店里是不是要这个 ？Nope. Okay. So my first question has nothing to do with going to a shop, and it's not a thing that I need at a shop. So it's probably not money. Okay. Is this something that you do in a shop? I do. 我在 shop 在店里要做的事 ，Nope. Okay, so it's not something you do in a shop, so it's probably not buy. Hmm. Okay, is this something I might do if I want to、um, take something with me to school? 带东西到学校 Yes. Okay, so is it the word bring? Yes. All、you、right, I got right. it. Got it in four questions. All right, guys, we are actually running out of time today, so we don't have time to play this game anymore. But that's okay because there's lots of words in there that you can play this game with. So we'll see you back here again tomorrow to find out about Danny's trip to the bank. So see us then. Bye bye. Bye. A trip to the bank. 
Welcome to Picture Dictionary. Today we're going to introduce some words you can see in a bank. That sounds really interesting. It sure does. Don't you just love learning English words? Right now, please pay attention and read the words and sentences as loudly as you can. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's get started and have fun. Teller, transaction, savings, withdraw, safety deposit box, safe deposit box, ATM, deposit, balance, bank book, passbook, ID, credit card, debit card, bank account. Hey mom, a great new video game came out yesterday. Can you buy it for me? I think you have enough money to buy it yourself. You can use the savings in your bank account. Oh right, I saved up my red envelopes. But how can I take the money out? Well, I have to go to the bank today. I'm going to get something from our safe deposit box. Does that mean I can go with you? I want to withdraw some money. Yes, you can. Don't forget to bring your passbook. Word power. Buy. 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 Bought. Bought. Jordan went to the supermarket to buy some milk, bread, and apples. Jordan went to the supermarket to buy some milk, bread, and apples. Money, money. I can't go to a restaurant for lunch because I don't have any money. I can't go to a restaurant for lunch because I don't have any money. Use, use. I took a cold shower yesterday because my brother used all the hot water. I took a cold shower yesterday because my brother used all the hot water. Bring. Bring, bring, brought, brought. Bring your umbrella today. It might rain later. Bring your umbrella today. It might rain later.